What's up, basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. Baik, bareng gue Rocky Padilla dan kemarin ini gue menyempatkan diri nih untuk datang ke press conference-nya IBL saat mereka memperkenalkan para pemain asing musim ini. Dan gue kemarin uh, melakukan sedikit interview dengan para pemain asing menanyai apakah mereka uh, kena jet lag atau tidak. Kalau mereka bisa membandingkan uh, game mereka ke pemain NBA, siapa yang akan mereka uh, pilih. Dan juga yang terakhir adalah kesan pertama mereka tentang Indonesia. Tapi sebelum kita ke video tersebut, jangan lupa ya guys untuk kasih thumbs up dan juga komen menurut kalian pemain asing musim ini bagaimana, siapa yang kalian kira-kira ingin tonton. Dan yang terakhir bagi yang belum subscribe, seperti biasa jangan lupa untuk subscribe. Uh, subscribe itu gratis loh guys, jadi langsung aja di klik tombol subscribe ya. Kalau begitu guys, uh, thank you for always supporting me dan juga thank you banget udah nonton video ini. Kalau begitu, I'll see you guys on the next episode. What's up, IBL fans? My name is Darnell Brown. I play for Silverwangi Bandung. What's up, IBL fans? This is Devin Matthews. I play for Gruda Bandung. What's up, IBL fans? This is Kevin Bridgewater. I play for Satria Muda Pertamina. What's up, IBL fans? I'm Darius Gibbs, and I play for Satia Wachan. What's up, IBL fans? This is Emilio Parks. I play for Bima Picasso Jokja. What's up, IBL fans? I'm Anthony McDonald, and I play for Bima Picasso Jokja. What's up, IBL fans? This is Keenan Palmore, and I play for Hung Tua Some Cell. What's up, IBL fans? This is Wayne Bradford, and I play for Polita Jaya Jakarta. What's up, fans? This is CJ Giles, play for Polita Jaya. What's up, IBL fans? This is Rashawn Griffin, play for NSI Jakarta. And I'm ready. I'm, I'm happy to be an Indonesian man. I'm ready to give y'all fans a, a lot of excitement, but most importantly, win for my team. Yes, I'm still jet lag right now, so I'm trying to trying to work through it, get my legs moving a little bit, you know, a lot of fluids. Oh yes, of course, a little jet lag, but I'm okay. I'll be all right. I had a lot of jet lag. I was on a plane for 23, 24 hours. So yeah, when I got here, I had a lot of jet lag. Oh yeah, yeah, I had a little jet lag. Most of the time, I was sleeping the whole flight. Uh, yeah, I kind of did. It was a, I think like a 22 hour flight in total. The first one was like 13, and the second one was like 7, so I was kind of tired when I first got here. Like, I didn't feel it at first. I thought I was wide awake. I crashed like, as soon as I got to the hotel, though. Je oh, yes, definitely. Um, I slept from 3 o'clock p.m. to 7, and then I went to bed at 2 a.m. and woke up at 5. Uh, I'm still having trouble sleeping, but I I'll get used to it. 11 hours is a lot of hours to, to uh, you know, adjust. A little bit, yeah. I mean, this time difference is killing me. I'm sleepy during the day and, and wide awake at night, so kind of adjust to it. Yeah, man, it was a long flight. Yeah, super long flight. I'm good. I, I'm waiting to shake it out once I get on the court. A uh, little, little bit, but I'm kind of used to it. like being a, a professional for seven years, so I'm used to traveling abroad and getting getting uh, acquainted with the time really quick. Jet lag, man. Jet lag is crazy right now. It's kicking my tail, but. You know, that's, that's, that come with the territory, uh, but that'll pass, you know, just like any other thing. Uh, so when the jet lag go down, I'll be in full, you know, prepare mode, ready for the season, ready for practices and everything. Uh, NBA player, let me see. I'll say a little bit of James Harden with a little bit of, ah, uh, that's a tough one. I can't think of another one, but just shifty. I'm real shifty with the ball. Clever. Know how to score and pass. Um, I'd probably say Chris Paul, because I like to get everybody involved, and I can also score. I like to play defense. I like to do everything. So if I'm not scoring, I could still affect the, the game in other ways. So probably him, but I'm taller, so I rebound better. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I'd say like a uh, Chauncey Billups or a Mike Bibby or somebody like that. Or maybe a Nate Robinson. You know, I can be a little athletic sometimes. Uh, maybe Darren Williams because I have the body like Darren Williams. I'm a big guard, but at the same time, I'm really quick. So that's what I compare myself to. Um, I, I would say if anybody, it would be Paul Pierce because uh, he works around his uh, great uh, shot selection. He's patient. He has great IQ. He's a, he's a high uh, volume player, and I really compare myself to him because he's not as fast, but he was athletic, and he also was a great uh, offensive player. If 
probably like Steph Curry. Like I shoot a lot of threes. I make a lot of threes. Like I, that's always been my game. Like being a shooter. Like in college, like my senior year, Division One, like I was like top five shooters in the nation. So my game is mostly based off shooting and you know passing and being like a smart player. Um, definitely Russell Westbrook because I have the all-around game as far as rebounding and assisting and scoring. And I'm very aggressive again to the basket, so I would say him. I say uh, James Harden. Just play at a smooth pace. I'll say a mixture of Kevin Garnett and Marcus can be put together. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Russ. I'm going to say a little bit of Russ. I'm going to say... Um, Rajon Rondo at the same time because I like to play defense, but I'm athletic. Uh, I like to get up and down the court fast pace. Um, I do have a high IQ for the game as well. Um, I like to pick certain spots and, and what I do and, and make the best of my uh, time on the court. I play with a lot of grit and a lot of toughness. Uh, a lot of people. A lot of people, a lot of motorbikes around here. So good food, spicy food too. I had my first taste of spicy food and it was a little bit too hot for me, so that was my first impression. Oh, it's cool. It's a lot of love, genuine people. I like it. It's, it's a nice place. Uh, the people are very, very nice, extremely nice. Uh, very professional, business-wise, and uh, uh, I'm happy with how they've treated us so far. Oh, it's great. It's great. It's really great. The fans, the atmosphere, the media. I'm not even used to it like this. but. It's a great, great experience right now. Oh, wow. Um, hot. <laughs> um, and the traffic, oh my goodness, just like uh, in Charlotte. Oh, I love it. Like, it, it's been like a lot of excitement. Like, it's been crazy because like, it seemed like everyone anticipating the season and ready to see us play. And I'm just ready to get out and get the fans a great show. It's hot. <laughs> it's very hot, but it's cool though. It's better than being cold, so I'm, I'm cool with it. Great weather. <laughs> great weather. Where I'm from right now is cold, so I'm glad to get away from the cold. First impression in Indonesia is I'm excited from what for what I see and what I hear right now. I'm pretty excited to see how the league's gonna go. Yeah, it's wonderful, like I said, huge. So I'm just ready to experience Indonesia as a fool, ready to go to every city. Every IBL fan, I want y'all to come out and support IBL as a whole, especially support NSI Jakarta and me as well with the team. So I'm looking forward to seeing everybody y'all, everybody every one of y'all at each city.